In the previous lecture, we discussed the motion of an electron when that electron was traveling in an electric field that pointed parallel with respect to the motion of that electron. Now we're going to discuss the motion of an electron in which the electric field points perpendicularly with respect to its motion. So, an electron is traveling with a constant velocity given by v naught when it enters midway between two oppositely charged parallel plates. So assume the electric field is constant and points perpendicularly with respect to the motion of our electron. So let's suppose this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. Our electron enters from the left side midway between these two oppositely charged parallel plates. So we have the positively charged parallel plate and the negatively charged parallel plate. Our electron begins with a velocity given by v naught, which is constant and points along the x-axis in this direction. Now, we want to describe the motion of our electron as it travels along the following pathway. So what type of pathway will it take? Well, let's begin by determining the direction of the electric field. We know our electric field lines begin on the positive end and end on the negative end. And so that means our electric field points directly downward. Now, because the charge on this is negative, that means the force that the electric field will create on our electron will point in the opposite direction, meaning it will go upward. Now, because we have a force that points upward, that means by the second law of motion, this electron will accelerate upward as it travels along this pathway. So the pathway will look something like this. The pathway will be parabolic, as we'll see in just a moment. So, once again, the electric field which points downward will create a force that points in the opposite direction, meaning upward. And that's because we're dealing with an electron and the electron has a negative charge. So this will create an acceleration that also points upward. So by the second law of motion, the sum of the forces acting on our electron that point along the y-axis is equal to the mass of the electron multiplied by the acceleration that points along the y-axis. Now, we know the force acting on our electron is given by Q multiplied by E. So Q multiplied by E is equal to mass times its acceleration. So we solve for our acceleration and we get that our acceleration, which points upward along the y-axis, is equal to QE divided by M, where Q and M is the charge and the mass of our electron and E is the electric field that exists between these two parallel plates. Now Q, E, and M are all constants, and that means our acceleration will also be constant. And because we're dealing with a constant acceleration, we can apply the kinematics equations, and that gives us the following result. The change in our position along our y-axis is equal to one-half multiplied by ay multiplied by t squared. Now we can replace our ay with the following equation, and we get this. One-half multiplied by q times e divided by m multiplied by t squared. So we see that our y with respect to t is given to be the following equation. Now, we want to represent our y in terms of x. So let's look at part 3. So we know our acceleration along the x direction is 0 because our velocity is constant along the x-axis. So that means we can take the following kinematics equation, we can cross out the x naught, and we can cross out this because our ax is 0 and x naught is assumed to be 0. So x is equal to v naught multiplied by t. 
So, now we solve for our t, and we see that t is equal to x divided by v naught, which is a constant. So now we take our time, and we replace time with x divided by v naught. And we get the following result. Our y with respect to x is equal to q multiplied by e divided by 2m multiplied by the square of x divided by v naught. So this is our equation that represents the motion of our electron within the following setup. Notice we have y with respect to x squared. So that means this pathway will be parabolic.